Well, g'day everybody and welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. Whew, it's uh, it's currently 9.37pm. I have worked myself into the night trying to get a ploughing job done, but uh, I didn't manage to finish it. And you can see how uh, desperate we are in need of some sleep. So uh, I thought we might uh, come home, go to bed have a sleep for the night and then uh, we can go and finish that plough job. I've been so close to finishing, but uh, there we go. Perfect condition, full, beautiful. Um, so, yeah, we were so, so close to finishing. I also managed to pick up some mushrooms when I was wandering around. So what do we, uh, we egg casserole. So we need some, we need some eggs and uh, I think... Oh, we need zucchini. That's what we need. So we probably need to check our uh, greenhouse anyway. Uh, we'll probably stop by some stores, I think, on the way and um, uh, in our travels and see if we can uh, see if we can find any zucchini for sale because it is uh, it is cheaper to do that anyway. It does. Uh, oh, look, melons are ready. Melons are ready. What are we going to throw in next? That's pretty cool. Pretty happy about that. Uh, is anything else ready? Big zucchini. Are these zucchinis ready? It looks like they are. Now, did that go into our inventory? Yeah. Yes, beautiful. All right, so we have some zucchinis, so we can make some of that. That's cool. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here in the greenhouse? Tomatoes aren't quite ready yet. Uh, I think there were pumpkins there. What are we going to put in? Uh, we've got one chili seed. We've got melon seeds and chili seeds. We may need to go and get ourselves some other seedlings. Uh, we've got tomatoes coming. We probably need zucchini seeds, I reckon. Let's use let's use these. Let's just use that up and that. Uh, there we go, and we will grab that chili seed and throw that in, and we're going to have to go and buy ourselves some new seeds as well. My goodness. There you go. We've used up everything that we've had, so uh, let's get some uh, let's get some water happening in here, which should be perfect. We'll get that up to the top of the green. Clunk. Perfect. Close that off. No worries. Uh, do we have anything in our silo? No, it's empty at the moment. That's good. How are our crops going this morning? Uh, everything's looking pretty good there. Everything is looking pretty good there. We haven't had any germination on that yet. So uh, it is the 21st of August. We're probably going to end up, uh, probably going to end up sleeping for a week, I reckon, at some point. So, um, just to uh, just to, to move everything along, how are these? Uh, that's that's withered and very dry. These are wet, so these are semi-wet. Maybe we can uh, maybe we can give these a bit of beautiful. Uh, it looked like we could actually pick those. Oh look, gather honey, beautiful. Gather honey, lovely. Put those down there. Give that one a little bit of a thing. No, it does. Uh, uh, no, that's just use watering can. All right, there we go. Make sure that they stay. Uh, that they stay wet. Beautiful, lovely. I think we've got some more around here as well. Uh, yeah, we did end up planting these, didn't we? Pretty sure that we did. Yes, we did. Rose wet. Let's just uh, let's just give it all the water anyway. Very wet. Very wet there. Looks like he can get two done. Oh, he can get more than two done. That's pretty cool. Just by running over the top of them while you're watering. Well, that's uh, that's going to help a lot, isn't it? There as well. We're going into the dark again. And there. Look at that. So everything there is very wet. That's good. 
What have we got here? Zinnias. We will uh, water those as well. There's no honey there, so... Ah, perfect. Uh, we don't need to eat a grilled sausage at this point in time. We do need to collect our eggs. There we go. It's always this uh, this morning routine, isn't it? Let's uh, grab those and those. You, grab you, you. Uh, then what we might do is before we actually uh, before we milk the cows, we may actually run. Um, we may actually go and finish off that uh, plow job while it's still cool in the morning, so that should be all right. We'll just uh, grab these eggs. Go. There, 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 there. I don't think there's any more there. All right, beautiful. Oh, lovely. Let's, uh, we do need to finish the house off as well. Uh, let's just run into the kitchen here. We should be able to cook some. Uh, we should be able to cook some of these now. Look, we can do twenty-four of those. Perfect. Twenty-four egg casserole a la forest. A la forest. Uh, is there anything else that we can do? Uh, we've run out of mushrooms, but uh, we've got plenty of stuff for that. So uh, we could probably do. Let's do how many eggs we got? 78. And we've got 42 zucchini. So let's do 36 eggs. And we'll put all these uh, these curried eggs we'll put down in uh, in the pantry. So all of that stuff there can go in the pantry ready for uh ready for the summer festival. And I will have to see if um I can find um a winter festival. I don't know which one is it. Move that to the pantry, move that to the pantry. Uh, leave those eggs on us. So we're getting a, a, a bit of a collection now, so I'm hoping that uh, hoping that that's going to work out well. Was there anything that we could... Uh, is there actually anything that we could do with um, honey ice cream or honey pancakes? Well, let's do the honey pancakes, I reckon. Might as well. Uh, nothing else we can do. Canned melon. Uh, I think melon oriental egg casserole. So let's use 20 of our melons. Actually, let's use... How many melons do we have? 25. Let's use 12 of them. Create some of those. Then that way... Um, It'll give us some more meals to throw in there. Zucchinis, we've got 42. I'm going to hold on to those for a little bit until uh, such time as we hopefully can find some more mushrooms. But you all know I have heaps of trouble finding those. Let's, throw, let's move those to the pantry. Let's move those. And uh, everything else I might... <laughs> Actually, let's move that. Let's move all of the milk. Let's move all of those melons and let's move all of those over as well, as well as those. That'll get them out of our inventory, but we'll be able to, um, at some point, we will be able to um, come and grab those again when we do some more cooking. So it should be pretty cool. Looking forward to seeing how much all of that stuff sells for. Uh, I'm going to close that, try and keep the rats out. Uh, close that. Where is, uh, where's our little... Um, James is over there. G'day, Rexy. I think Rex needs a sausage for the morning. James needs a fish. Come on, feed the cat with fish. There we go. James is quite happy with us. Rex is always happy with us because he's just a happy boy. Uh, all right. So uh, what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to pop back up to... Where's our, where's our tractor? Well, we've got another plow the field job down the road. I'm gonna pop back into here. We will finish this one off. As you can see, I got pretty close to finishing it off, but uh, it just got way too dark. So, uh, and my sleep was down to 14. So that's not very cool. Okay, spin you around down to this little uh it was a little bit unorthodox the way that i uh the way that i plowed this field but still got it done anyway 
lift that up. It's a bit bumpy. It's just a little bit, uh, a little bit harsh on the old, uh, on the old body there. All that bumpiness, but oh, I so can't wait to get a better tractor and a better plow. It make these jobs so much easier, and uh, these are the only jobs that you get. Like you don't get harvesting jobs or anything, so um, which is a shame. But you never know; they might bring that in. I just don't know how they would do it. It might be a little bit too difficult for them to do that. There we go. You. This should go. Uh, this should go dink soon, shouldn't it? What is it? Ninety-six percent. So we're getting pretty close then. And very, very close. There it goes. Beautiful. All right, let's uh, let's head over and see. Uh, is it finished? Ah, uh, there we go. All right. Sorry guys, I nearly sneezed then. I nearly sneezed. We'll head over and see that. Let's see all these fields here that could like that's potential uh that's potential social points, isn't it? Uh, where are you, buddy? You're over there. I think we're gonna have to probably gonna have to go around. How much fuel do we have? We've got eighty percent, so that's alright. Thankfully we'll just uh, spin around here and we'll go over and see him. And hand this job in. It looks like we might be able to cut through here. That's going to be, that's going to be handy. There we go. Perfect. That will make it handy, and we'll see what other jobs are up for today as well. Because uh, what we are looking at is we're just looking at social points. Uh, is this another job? Oh, look, fancy that A silo just popped in. I was going to say, is that another drop point, but it's just out in the middle of nowhere, it's a bit bizarre, so. I think we're sitting on 40,000 social points, we're trying to get ourselves up to 50,000, everything's popping in, isn't it? Stuff's popping in, what's that van doing out there? That's, I'd be a little bit worried if there was a dude sitting outside in a van. Alright, where are you? Thank you. Here's something for you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Uh, 918 social points, $459. We're at 11,601. We've got 41,152 social points, which is actually pretty cool. All right, let's just have a look at the map. What have we got? What do we have? We're down the bottom here in Lakeside. Uh, we've got another plowing job up there. Uh, and we've got a transport job, transport job, and fix one of the buildings. So I reckon we might head up to that bus stop. I reckon that might be the go. What I will do, though, is I might just head over and leave the tractor over there because I'll do this plowing job off, off camera. Where is that? Where is it? It's over there. Because I'll do this plowing job off camera, obviously. Um, so that you guys don't have to sit there and watch me uh, plow and we'll go and do a repair job and we'll do a couple of transport jobs on the bus which will be pretty easy um, and we'll sort of work it from there so sometimes you find I, I've found sometimes I've taken on plow jobs and they've been like a kilometer away from um, uh, from where you need to hand that job in or where you get the job in the first place but uh, That one there, I think, was half a kilometre, so I'm just going to leave that there, go back into the map, get rid of that, and uh, let's see, let's just head over to here. <laughs> we'll jump out of the uh, jump out of the little lawnmower there. There we go. Beautiful. Lawns don't need mowing at all. House needs finishing. Most definitely need to render that... Uh, Need to render that top one and get some solar panels on the roof as well. Alrighty. So head over here and uh, we shall get into the bus stop, catch the bus up here, which is the easiest way to do it. Right there like that. Perfect. 
da, 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 da. All right, so what have we got? Where are we? We're over here. And I think we've got, yeah, transport job there. And then we've got to fix, fix one of the buildings jobs. So we might go and do the transport job one first because that's, uh, that's the closest. So we also need to think about who we're going to start to chat up as well. Let's see. Somebody over here. Well, that's right. Becky loves us, doesn't she? We'll talk later. No, let, please, please, let's talk now. Not now, sorry. Please. Hello there. There we go. Hello, nice to see you. So she she likes us. So so yeah. Lady, you look as beautiful as a sunny morning. Ooh. That's so sweet. I am well, really smooth. Nice. I am smooth. There we go. She still likes Hi. us. Good morning, friend. Let's, let's do it. Oh, friend now. We're friend now. Um, uh, is there something I can help you with? There I you go. Help you with? There is something I need indeed. Care to bring the package to me? Absolutely. Absolutely. It would be my pleasure, Becky. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. There we go. See, there's some there's some wife material. You you need to fall into a hole, dude. Need to fall into a hole. Stay away from our future wife. Uh, pick up the parcel. Let's just uh, run over to the. Oh, we should be checking for mushrooms. Should always be checking for mushrooms when you run through this stuff. But just don't get really really distracted like I do, because it's not a good thing. Yeah, little, it's not good to get distracted. There's no mushrooms, no mushrooms, no mushrooms. All right, beautiful. So where are we going? Let's have a look at the map here. We need to pick up the parcel from... Yeah, he's def this dude is definitely a drug dealer. He's definitely some sort of dealer. He's doing something dodgy. Like, honestly. It's always pick up a, pa a package from him. And it's always from one end of the map to the other, isn't it, as well, so. Uh, let's see. There's some animals running around. We'll see if we can see some mushrooms on the way over. I think, what's this guy's name? Steve? Steve, I think. Pretty sure it was Steve or, or something like that, so. Um, head over there and we'll pick up his package. Pick up his package, then we'll get back on the bus, and we'll go back again. It's uh, it's repetitive, but it's the game. It's uh, it's it's how we develop our social status. So dodgy, dodgy, dodgy man, hey? Seriously, he likes us though. No wonder he likes us. He's not having to transport his own uh, in inverted commas. I'm here for the package. Packages. Sure, here it is. Steve, 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 what's the package, Steve? How did you afford that really nice hat and shirt, Steve? Hmm. All right. Through the gate, didn't we? We did that. I'm pretty sure we did that greenhouse for him, didn't we? I think we did. I think we did. All right, don't forget everybody that, uh, don't forget to head over to, uh, there will be a link below in the description to head over to Sumidium Extra. Um, that's my second channel that I've just created. And on that channel, you'll be finding, um, you'll be finding gameplay for, for other games like uh, survival, survival games, um, uh, cyberpunk, um, scum, scum is coming up as well. So subsistence, all that type of stuff. Um, as well as things like scrap mechanic, uh, multiplay stuff that's outside the, uh, the, the sim genre. Um, you know, multiplay with Hokey Pokey and with the community and all that type of stuff. So um, it doesn't cost anything to, to head over to that second channel of mine um, and subscribe. And it would be really awesome if you could because it would really actually really help me out. Uh, it's it's, it's going to be pretty tough moving... Uh, uh, half the content that I do that's uh, that's not part of simulation over to another channel, but um, 
if everybody goes and uh, everybody goes to and subscribes to that, then that would uh, that would help me out greatly. So um, it, it would sort of make make that uh, make that move a little bit easier. So there we go. All right, and that uh, that allows this channel to remain um, focused on uh, simulation and stuff. So. Which uh, I think is probably a good thing. It's a good thing for the people who love this type of uh, who love this type of gameplay. So hello, Becky. Thank you. Here's something for you. Thank you very much. Well, let's Can chat to her. Task? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Two hundred and eighty-one and five sixty-two social talk. points. Good morning, so, friend. So they're actually pretty easy. Um, I wish I'd dream so about you tonight. Evil. I wish I'd dream about you. <laughs> that's, that's pretty dodgy. That's so sweet. You are really nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, look, she's she's very happy. All right, we're going to have to remember that. Uh, now, our next job is over here somewhere. So while we're over here, we might as well do this one and get this one out of the way. Uh, grab ourselves even more social points. And I think... I think I'm going to probably do that ploughing job off camera and then sleep for a week, I reckon. What are we going to be repairing here? I can't even find him. I mean, that all needs... Ah, there he is around the front there. David and Lydia. There he is. Hi. Good morning. Is this one going to be a really big, uh, a really big job? Work. Got anything for me? It may be. A building on my farm needs some care. What do you think? <laughs> sure. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. It's only 340 uh, euros, so I'm guessing that uh, it's not going to um, it's not going to be too much work. That's what I'm kind of hoping anyway. All right. There we go. Let's uh, get stuck straight into it. Here we go. Because it's not uh, too much work, I'm probably not going to go into a time lapse. Um, there you go, beautiful. All right, yeah. So I'm um, I'm about to also start a uh, a really cool series um, called the Gambler. So that's going to be unique. And uh, and an unusual series. Uh, it's all simulation based. Um, it's all simulation based role play. So keep your eyes on that, guys. That will be coming out soon enough. There must be bales on the other side of that wall. Okay, so that's done. That beautiful. What have we got in? Oh, there's just uh, mounds and mounds of straw. Look, we can get this one from here. We're going to have to get up on the roof anyway because I don't think we're going to be able to reach the roof from um, uh, from the ground unless we can put a scaffolding inside. I know that we can put scaffolding inside on uh, in Lumberjack's Dynasty, but I've never actually tried it in this. Might have to test that out at some point. Am I going to be able to get that, please? Please, yes. There we go. That helps out a little bit. All right, what else have we got? So it's just, it just looks like there's, it only looks like there's roof to repair, doesn't it? Hmm, okay, so maybe we will put the scaffolding up out here. Uh, let's see, I've got to remember what number the scaffolding is. 5, F5, 4, F3, F3, there you go. Uh, nope, 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 yes, perfect. All right, up we go, up we go. My uh, never-ending pocket of scaffolding has never let us down. It has never let us down. There's a, uh, there's a lot of these days with all the uh, safety and all that type of stuff. There's actually a lot of money in, uh, in running a scaffolding hire company. I mean, if you think some of these multi-story buildings and stuff are just covered from head to toe in scaffolding, inside and outside. And uh, all that scaffolding has to be, uh, you have to pay to hire it all. Um, you have to pay to have qualified, um, at least over here in Australia, qualified people to put it up. 
um, to and, and to dismantle it as well. Um, yeah, a lot of money involved in it. So it'd probably be a really good business to get into if you could afford it. Only if you could afford it. I mean, the uh, the initial investment that you would have to make would probably be offset by the amount of money that you uh, that you make, provided that you're doing the um, the right thing by your clients and the um, yeah, I don't know. It, just, it would just be one of those things, wouldn't it? These chickens are uh, sitting Thank around. You. Here's something for you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, let's see, 680 social points we got for that one. So what? what's our status now? Let's have a look. We've got um, 42,000 social points. That's what we want to get up to 50,000 because we can get married after 50,000. And we can also hire people if we need to to do fertilizing, plowing and all that type of stuff. We've got 12,200 there. Uh, we need to get some sausage we need to get some sausages. Um, was there a... Uh, whereabouts were... I'm, I'm going to go for a frolic. I'm going for a frolic through this wheat field. There we go. I do have clothes on, don't panic. We go for a frolic through the... Uh, just through the corner of this cornfield. And through this one as well. Corn... Growing corn really appeals to me. Um, I might have to... We've, we've got that corn header up at Lydia's house. So we could possibly... Um, we could possibly plant some corn next season. I don't know. We're going to do soy because soy has... Uh, soy has the most... Um, like or, or beans. They give you a, they give you a really good... Um, uh, amount of money so where's the we need to go to a store don't we it's the agricultural store that's the gas station there's greenhouses for sale uh, greenhouses I can't remember where stores are there's a place to relax there's a coffee shop I like how they highlight coffee shops but they don't highlight stores uh, let's see where can we go we might uh, we might actually head back here I think <clears throat> Oh, yep, back into there. <laughs> back into the little mower. Painted that like a uh, like a John Deere. Now we've, st we've still got no apples up, but I did notice that Becky has apples on her tree. Somebody did say to me, "Ah, oh, you you should go and you can pick apples off anybody's tree," but I kind of feel like that's stealing. <gasps> that's what we needed to do. We needed to uh, we need to go and get more seeds. Need to go get more seeds, so we might actually do that. Uh, we'll take the ute, I think. And uh, let's see, where is the agricultural store? There's oh look, that general store is showing. There. I can never remember how to get down there. Yeah, past the straight past the lungs. Uh, let's see. Let's pull around here. Oh, we didn't. I haven't collected the duck eggs, and I do need to milk the cows as well. So I need to keep that in mind. But uh, we really need to look at our Rexy boy. We really need to start by uh, by getting ourselves some seeds because um, I've got to get those in. The sooner you plant them, the uh, the sooner that they will mature. There must be more mushrooms over there that I'll be able to grab. I think by the looks of it. Agricultural store just around the bottom. I think we're going to put in some more zucchini. Um, I should have, I should have had a look at the recipes again before I went, but definitely, definitely a lot more zucchini because um, that's one of those things that you can cook with, isn't it? So pull up here. There we go. Duck in. Good morning, everybody. And we shall get ourselves, what have we got? Um, I think we've got, uh, I don't know how much pea seed, uh, pea seed that we have either. All right, zucchini, uh, let's see, let's get a 120 pieces. Uh, tomatoes we've got growing, pumpkins, melon, bell peppers, 
chilies. Get some, uh, we'll get some of those. We'll get some bell peppers. Uh, get some cucumbers. And we'll get some chili seeds as well. Well, we really haven't got much of anything in there, have we? We've actually used it all up, so we might be better off spending a little bit of money. Uh, let's see. Melons, not so much, I don't think. I think I'm going to go off melons. Pumpkin, definitely. Uh, zucchinis, definitely. Tomatoes, we'll get a few of. Drop that down. Drop that down and we'll drop that down. 900 Yep, $900 should be fine, I think. So we'll buy that stuff for the greenhouse. Um, we'll have a look at uh, we'll have a look at seed when it comes time to plant that field. So uh, in the meantime, if we just uh, duck back home and uh, get some more zucchini, and I think we we'll have to have a look at uh, we'll have to have a look at what we're actually um, what we're actually growing at the moment. What's well, well, what's still growing anyway. So I don't think melons are overly worth it. I don't know because I don't know what prices we get at this festival. But uh, we, we are going to soon find out because uh, we're only a month away, less than a month away from the festival. Which would be pretty cool. All right, in we go. I wonder how much money you get for uh, for stuff like you for potatoes and beets in this game. That'd be interesting to know. And stop there. It's a it's it's a bit expensive to set up though, isn't it? Really. Um, that building's actually complete, isn't it? Because that has all this. Oh, it's not quite complete. All right, let's uh, let's duck in here. Open that up. Uh, so we've got uh, we've got bell peppers. By the looks of it, uh, we've got zucchini. Are these no, they're cucumbers. They're all cucumbers. Uh, they are they're bell peppers as well. So we've got a load of those in uh, tomatoes, obviously, and pumpkin over there. So I think we'll uh, I think we'll start by using zucchini seeds, and we will throw some zucchini in. Uh, what have we got? Yeah, I think zucchini's zucchini's always a pretty good one. Now I don't know whether these um whether these grow at different rates or sure we might have to throw some more pumpkin in as well. I think uh, pumpkin seedlings. There we go. There, there, and over here as well. Ooh. Throw those in there too. Beautiful. Uh, how are we doing there? Let's just give it a little bit of water. Perfect. Okay, oh, we've, we've missed one. There we go. That's perfect. All right, guys, so that is it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please hit like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, come and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch. And uh, certainly, if you could head over to uh, Sumidium Extra for me and, um, and uh, just subscribe to that. That would be absolutely awesome. But uh, for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye guys.